Oh, we're gonna catch you. Mm. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, I'm going to, today I'm going to do a rapid change engine thing. I'm trying to figure out um, uh, the, uh, the truth, uh, the state of uh, cloud computing in China. Um, the cloud itself is uh, often confused many people, but the China cloud is uh, uh, usually more confusing to people because uh, China uh, has a lot of unwritten rules. So that it, uh, it's very hard to uh, figure out something through just through reading papers and the reports. Uh, cloud, computing, uh, cloud computing uh, either is business development and uh, its uh, uh, technology is uh, still in a very early stage in China. So as far as I uh, know, uh, there are not a real uh, good cloud product in China in, uh, now. So um, as a new cloud entrepreneur, I must be very aware of the state of cloud computing in China. So. Uh, here today, I will share uh, what I have learned from uh, my ventures in last year. Uh, this talk will cover three uh, se uh, sections. The first is uh, I will talk about some significant cloud, China cloud players. And uh, the second, I will talk about obstacle development in China. Um, now, uh, because of, uh, because of uh, uh, obstacles, uh, dominant uh, capabilities, uh, uh, in China, we can uh, regard that uh, OpenStack equals the cloud. Uh, in order to understand uh, OpenStack in China, you must uh, to know one company, that is uh, uh, United Stack. Uh, that's, that's because <laughs> um, uh, you will, uh, in, in my last, pa uh, last pages, I will have uh, uh, some insights about the OpenStack and uh, my company's development. Uh, before I talk about the uh, China cloud players, uh, I will share I, I will I want to share an idea uh, which I raised in my topic abstract. That is uh, the um, uh, status. Uh, that is the comparison of uh, uh, enterprise IT versus consumer internet. In consumer internet market, uh, almost all the uh, domestic uh, domestic companies like. Uh, Tencent, Alibaba, Baidu has uh, uh, dominate, uh, dominated the whole internet industry and uh, the whole um, netizens in China, while leaving very little space to the foreign counterparts. And, uh, and uh, um, we all know that this um, attributes most to the China's, uh, China's Great Firewall. But uh, here, I don't want to talk about such top, uh, political topics. And then at the same time, uh, we can see in Chinese enterprise IT market, um, the foreign uh, enterprise giants has a very stable and strong positions in Chinese market. And um, uh, few local companies have the ability to compete directly with these traditional IT giants. Um, um, it's, it will be very interesting to dive into uh, this phenomenon. So uh, I, think, uh, uh, I think for a long time about uh, the background reason of this. Here I picked, uh, I picked one reason. Um, we can see, uh, we, uh, th here I have a diagram to show the investment overview in 2012. We can say um, only two to five percent um, uh, venture investment to goes to uh, enterprise, startup, enterprise IT startup in 2012. As all you know, then venture investment is, uh, uh, is very important uh, the incentive to the innovation of IT industry because uh, IT, uh, enterprise IT or uh, usually needs a very long-term development and uh, needs much patience. So here, uh, the... Um, uh, the, the venture capitalist investment plays a very critical role to, uh, uh, to, de uh, to develop the enterprise software. So, um, uh, two, two to a two percent uh, investment to enterprise IT, and we can say sixty to seventy percent investment to consumer internet. Uh, so, 
this is why uh, so many uh, uh, new internet companies uh, in China uh, rise uh, almost every day. Um, in cloud area, we can have the see, uh, very similar um, uh, status. For the public cloud uh, and the hosting, uh, service hosting uh, business, um, almost uh, uh, this, this four uh, biggest players, uh, um, their mother company, uh, their, their first company, sorry, their first company are uh, almost uh, uh, the internet company. So that's because uh, public cloud and the service hosting business uh, are more like consumer internet, uh, while the public cloud uh, business are more like traditional IT business. So the, uh, so the traditional IT companies uh, um, almost own the whole private cloud business in China. Uh, I will talk some uh, about this uh, uh, public cloud hosting companies. Uh, uh, Baidu Cloud, uh, Baidu is a, 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 is a web giant in China, and um, it provides a large range of services uh, including uh, Baidu Cloud. Uh, Baidu Cloud is not a very uh, typical cloud. Um, it's under the Baidu Open Platform, um, which is uh, built for the which is built for the core uh, business uh, like a, a search engine. Its major product is the Baidu App Engine. It's a platform as a service. While it, uh, Baidu also uh, provides very simple infrastructure as a, uh, infrastructure service like a virtual machine management, but it's only open to its partner, not a public available. Arnie Cloud looks like a, a relatively successful cloud player in China. Uh, Arnie Cloud once claimed that um, this, plat this platform has 1,000 developers uh, for, have developed about three years. And um, unlike the Baidu Cloud, Arnie, Arnie Cloud is an uh, um, independent business unit of uh, Alibaba. Renai owns a uh, uh, big, big name and a huge investment from the Alibaba group. Uh, Ali Cloud gets a very huge customer base from Taobao e-commerce platform and uh, also gets enough progress in the last two years. And now, Ali Cloud should be the number one uh, public cloud providers in China. As for the Tencent Cloud, Tencent now sees the number one seat of uh, Chinese internet. It touches almost every uh, domain of the uh, web services. Uh, from desktop to mobile, uh, Tencent have hundreds of product online. That, uh, one of them are the uh, public cloud service. But uh, there uh, is, a, is a pity that Tencent Cloud is uh, not publicly available. Uh, you can not experience the web giant's cloud unless you are the partner who run your own business on uh, Tencent uh, social platform. As for Sina, Sina is my former employer, and uh, I just worked there for Sina Cloud. Uh, Sina has a, a very most popular uh, cloud product that is uh, Sina App Engine. It's the first most popular platform as a service in China. It supports mul uh, multiple uh, um, web, web language and uh, framework like Python, PHP, and um, and now um, it has uh, it, it, this platform has begun about uh, to 2009, and after several years development, it has become the uh, most uh, important and the biggest platform service in China. So uh, do some I do a quick summary of uh, these companies. Uh, here I have some uh, observations and uh, personal comments. The first, uh, cloud uh, and the hosting business is not a very serious business for uh, this uh, for big uh, internet giant uh, internet giants. Be that's because uh, the cloud business, um, the, the revenue generated from the cloud business is, uh, could could be ignored com comparing the major business. Uh, so they um, do not uh, do not play very serious in own cloud. So the, the second, um, because this company is, uh, has a very long uh, history in internet, uh, they, were faced why we, uh, they were faced the cloud problem uh, many years ago, but then there are, not, uh, there are no open stack, there are no very good 
um, open source solution. So most of uh, these companies have developed their own cloud platform from scratch. Um, the third observation is that um, many of my friends often ask me uh, which uh, public cloud should we choose? But I often said that I, I have no answer because there is no open cloud neither in China. Even any cloud is the, the uh, number one cloud provider that in terms of uh, their size, but not in terms of uh, its quantity and the uh, uh, SRA. And um, I didn't mention before is that there are dozens of other small public hosting providers. Uh, most, now most of them are struggling to survive and uh, some of them are already dead. This is the reality of uh, public cloud in China. Um, even though we have such situation, but I am also very uh, optimistic about public cloud in, uh, in China. Uh, that because um, uh, if uh, OpenStack, I, I think, they give us a very huge opportunity in this, in this uh, area because it enables us to build a, a um, public cloud in a short time using the uh, mature technologies. For the private cloud, I, need to, I just list these companies I, um, uh, because most of uh, you have uh, already know their uh, product portfolios or services. And um, for uh, from some sources, uh, as I know, uh, from some sources, uh, IBM and HP, I, I, I think, is a big winner of uh, Chinese private cloud in China, uh, of Chinese private cloud market. Um, the the reason. The reason why IBM and HP are the most successful in the private cloud business, uh, maybe because of they have very strong, um, they have many uh, accumul accumulated many years of uh, relationship with the government. So uh, in the last several years, uh, in the from 2009 to now, uh, Chinese government has invested a very huge um, money on the cloud development. So you can see. Many cities have built their own uh, so-called uh, so uh, cloud cities or, or cloud uh, science park. So all, almost all these uh, government, uh, government cloud projects are, are, built, are built by the IBM LHP technologies, and uh, sometimes uh, we can see VMware. Um, so uh, about OpenStack in China, I want, I, I want to, uh, I'm more willing to share about OpenStack in China because uh, the, um, the market seems to uh, very clear for me. Uh, how many how many people have uh, heard my topics uh, in yesterday's uh, sub, uh, in yesterday? How many people heard my topics? Only one. Oh, that's good, <laughs> because the the, the following contents is uh, much similar to my yesterday's topic. <laughs> uh, so, uh, for the first, I want to talk about the obstacle community in China. I spent some time to think about what is a community, uh, and um, to, um, because of uh, OpenStack, uh, we uh, uh, usually get, uh, gather together to share ideas, to uh, communicate with each other, to uh, even to need some business opportunities. I think this is uh, uh, the community. And, um, it, it was mentioning that uh, obviously community have uh, uh, brought me a lot of changes uh, in my last two years. In the beginning, uh, two years ago, when I first uh, uh, joined the obviously community, it was just uh, changed my way to need R and D, uh, which uh, uh, we tend to, we tend from our in, uh, in house development to join the uh, the global uh, the global community and um, work work with the uh, global. Uh, engineers and developers to um, uh, work, work, them, work, with, work them together to develop one platform. So this is a very great experience. And then later, OpenStack have changed my career and even my life because I started a new company uh, on OpenStack. So community is very great. So uh, I was often asked how big is China OpenStack community. Here I have some numbers. Um, According to the foundation statistics about the uh, individual member, we have uh, uh, 2,200 uh, foundation individual members uh, from China. Uh, 
uh, accounting for 20% of the global uh, uh, individual members registered. And um, we have uh, 1,400 members in chi China uh, of the Google mailing list. It's not an easy number because, you, as you know, uh, Google group service is totally blocked in China. So many, many uh, stackers, um, um, uh, many, many stackers using firewall to, uh, using VPN to access the um, uh, Google group service. And uh, this is, uh, Twitter Decentral Group is very active, about 2,500 people, are, uh, there are about 100 messages per day. And um, almost Weibo is the most, is a uh, important uh, channel for us to de uh, deliver the foundation's message and the global uh, opposite activities to mainland main China's users. Main and China's users. As for the, um, uh, if uh, comparing to the world, uh, China uh, is uh, number two hot area uh, uh, in, in, in these uh, countries. Before, uh, it's very, it was, it, it, it's worth mentioning that before OpenStack, uh, we can see few Chinese companies are willing to join the global uh, collaboration uh, because m m many companies, uh, many uh, Chinese companies have much, uh, don't have much, uh, much sense on open source uh, and um, the um, uh, collaboration. But now uh, the things have changed. Uh, in the Google, uh, in the foundations mailing list, we can see more and more messages from uh, Chinese user group and Chinese companies. That's a very good sign. Um, this is the uh, most exciting page in my whole presentations. Uh, we can see almost all the Chinese top internet companies have uh, already put up stack uh, in production or testing use. About two months ago, I began to visit, uh, visit these companies to pitch our OpenStack product and services. And uh, to my surprise, um, I found that almost all these companies have run, uh, are running OpenStack well. And um, they, uh, that's that because uh, internet companies in China uh, have the most, um, uh, gather, gathers, gathers the most, uh, uh, gathers the best uh, infrastructure engineers to uh, uh, do OpenStack development, uh, to uh, uh, do troubleshooting, to do OpenStack operation, and uh, to solve problems by themselves. And uh, fortunately, uh, after the round of communication, some of them have uh, been have become our early uh, customers. Um, before before I start a new business on OpenStack, I can only work for one company, and uh, but now. I have a chance to work with almost all these internet companies, uh, and uh, to uh, uh, so I so uh, my team have for deep understanding of uh, almost, uh, how these companies uh, using OpenStack and uh, how OpenStack influence their infrastructure. Here I have several observations. The first, uh, OpenStack is uh, replacing their legacy infrastructure software stack uh, because because these companies have very strong R and D. Uh, ability to uh, be uh, developed by themselves. So um, uh, I just uh, mentioned that um, uh, the, they, they have, uh, before OpenStack, they, have, uh, uh, they don't have uh, very good infrastructure software to uh, use, uh, uh, neither commercial software nor the open source solutions. Uh, that's because uh, uh, before this uh, internet companies, few companies uh, have uh, uh, faced uh, such massive workload and the users. So they have, uh, this company have no choice to, uh, develop by, uh, to develop by themselves. So after many years uh, development and, uh, and uh, accumulated, uh, accumulation, they have, uh, uh, they have accumulated uh, tons of uh, infrastructure software such as uh, virtual machine management platform, cloud storage platform, Security networking uh, uh, tools, and um, but uh, when they began to use OpenStack, they found that uh, OpenStack can replace almost um, all their legacy infrastructure software. For example, Nova can uh, run uh, can replace their uh, virtual machine management, and the Swift Center can replace their server development uh, storage system, and. Um, 
uh, as for networking the new uh, as for networking the security neutral can handle this problems uh, chove to uh, solve the DBA issues keystone so to replace the single sign on system and um, uh, Savannah can even to management the head of uh, system and the ironic can uh, management the physical resource provision system so uh, overstack from only uh, three projects that, um, to uh, about 10 core projects and 100 uh, community projects surrounding. So OpenStack now have become the, uh, has become very mature um, infrastructure, infrastructure, infrastructure software stack. And um, the internet, internet companies uh, has become the early adopters to this. So this, I think this is the uh, future. And uh, the second observation is that OpenStack restructures the uh, infrastructure team. Before OpenStack, these companies have uh, separated different teams to do different things. And this uh, uh, security networking, operation development team, they have uh, different tool chains, different code base, different coding style, and uh, different uh, standards. But now they're working on one team uh, based on OpenStack, same code base, same uh, workflow. And, um, they can also uh, work, work, uh, work together very well. The third observation is uh, OpenStack acted as a fabricate that connects almost all the vertical component of vertical infrastructure software such as hypervisor based networking and storage. So uh, in, the, uh, in my experience, uh, I, uh, in last 30 years, uh, IT development. This is the first. Uh, uh, this is this is the this is the first uh, uh, that one single platform that can connect um, almost all the um, other uh, other open source and uh, commercial platform. So this is why uh, another for some storage company, networking company, they embrace OpenStack. Uh, Next, I want to talk about uh, OpenStack users uh, in China. Uh, I did an uh, OpenStack user survey two weeks ago. And um, to my surprise, in the first week, I got uh, more than 400 responses and, uh, from 350 uh, companies. These companies uh, are from IT vendors uh, and uh, internet companies, uh, as we service provider and education. Uh, we can see here, internet companies of the uh, uh, are very active and the most, uh, is the most active user group in OpenStack. And um, uh, regarding the problem, uh, what's your current stage of OpenStack company? Uh, this, 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 this result um, made me a, a little surprised. We can find that 30% uh, of people ha have tried to deploy OpenStack but failed, and 30% of people I've tried OpenStack, but uh, not yet started to use OpenStack. And only 3% of, of users have for successfully deployed for production use, and most of them are internet companies. This is a very interesting re result. So uh, as an OpenStack company, uh, if I can solve the, um, uh, if, if, if I can make my customer to Easily deploy OpenStack and easily operate OpenStack, we can be very uh, successful in OpenStack uh, market. So, in order to um, uh, understand the background of why they are failed and why they do not start, I designed the next question. Um, what's hindering the development of OpenStack in your company? You can see the top three reasons are uh, the first one is lacking OpenStack engineering. So, uh, uh, accounting for uh, fifty uh, percent, the very hard to deploy OpenStack, the very difficult to uh, maintain and operate OpenStack. So uh, this is uh, very much our uh, expectations. So before this uh, user survey, uh, uh, my company NetStack have de development uh, OpenStack distribu distribution that exactly solve the, the top three reasons. And um, we, as for which obviously release are you using, uh, most people are using Grizzly. And uh, uh, Havana comes the second place. Uh, that, uh, that results uh, 
shows that um, most of people are very active to try uh, new versions. Uh, as for which object project are you using, uh, the traditional core, uh, Swift, Neutral, and Cinder are the, most of this core project are accounting for uh, more than half our users. And uh, as for which workload and application are running OpenStack, this is a very important result for uh, the OpenStack company who are building applications on OpenStack. So you can see uh, what the people need. So the first one, they want, uh, the, 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 the first three uh, applications are web service and the storage and the virtual desktop. So next, I want to uh, talk about the OpenStack vendors in China. Uh, in order to uh, have better understanding the status of, of Chinese players, I listed the um, US uh, OpenStack players. Uh, this uh, uh, slide is come from many bios from Scaling. They, uh, they have a very good category that uh, separate this uh, OpenStack companies to this category, hardware vendors, uh, component vendor, and, uh, Consistent and uh, so on. So, this is uh, in Apple company is the US uh, players. So, uh, how about the Chinese uh, um, status? We can see the, the NAFTA two companies are the same, but examples are purely uh, domestic company. Uh, we can see uh, the most crowded area is the hardware vendor. Uh, this company is uh, uh, most of them are security company or networking company. They, want to uh, integrate their hardware to um, OpenStack. And um, for, for the, we have no component vendor because compo uh, vertical component often requires very strong uh, technical abilities. And uh, we have no uh, no code distributions. We have no service of companies. We have no open, uh, significant OpenStack public cloud based on OpenStack. We have no uh, ISV. Uh, luckily, we have a lot of uh, private cloud deployment. So uh, this is why I say, um, in order to uh, understand uh, China, uh, uh, obviously in China, you must understand the United States because we are the only uh, real obstacle players in China. So. Um, we often claim that we are an uh, open source company that's because we have a very strong commitment on the upstream. And we, uh, uh, according to the uh, commits, we are the number 10 com uh, committer to the OpenStack uh, uh, core, and uh, including, uh, including the uh, community projects. And we have core developers in OpenStack. And we, uh, as far as I know, we are the biggest uh, contributor uh, from APAC. And uh, except uh, besides uh, OpenStack, we have very diverse footprint uh, on all this uh, infrastructure software. Because you, if you want to run the infrastructure well, you must uh, have a better understanding of this uh, vertical component. OpenStack uh, is just a framework. So the, um, this component, uh, plays a very critical um, uh, role in the infrastructure because, for example, uh, KVM hosting your uh, virtual machine, uh, serve in our distribution hosting your data, and uh, Linux uh, um, management uh, 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 management many uh, novel component uh, function components. So. Um, if we are a purely open source company, my, uh, my venture capital want to invest us. Uh, that's because uh, in China, open source cannot make money. So how do we make a business uh, on OpenStack? It's really, really a uh, hard question, you, uh, even, uh, in, especially in Chinese market. Um, in order to uh, give some quantitative uh, image of Chinese um, uh, business, uh, OpenStack business. I insert this question to my OpenStack user survey. Uh, which business model do you prefer if United States charges? Uh, we can see 
we can see here, 60% uh, uh, people wants us to provide free product with the paid service like Red Hat. And 30% um, want us to uh, provide a, a free product and uh, business uh, our paid product like Cloudera. So about 90% want us to provide a free product. And um, um, as, for, uh, as for the paid service, uh, I have, um, for, uh, for foreigners here, maybe feel very uh, optimistic uh, that so many, uh, so many Chinese companies are willing to uh, pay the service fee. But the reality is uh, that um, few companies uh, are willing to uh, pay uh, service fees uh, to uh, open source companies. Um, so this is why uh, in last um, 10 years uh, his, uh, open source history, we can see few, uh, we can see no one uh, open source, uh, uh, Chinese open source company survived in the, um, uh, on the Chinese market. So that's because um, even though he, he responds that he want to pay the service fee, but the reality they don't want to, they just want to free for that. So the reality, so the result is that we can, neither we can uh, make money from the paid service uh, with free product, nor we can make money from uh, paid um, uh, product like VMware. Because people don't like it, only 2% are willing us to be another VMware. Even though I said I can provide a very mature, very stable uh, product, they do not buy it. So we cannot make money from uh, service, we cannot make money from product, but how do we do that? So um, about uh, several months ago, I raised uh, this solution. Uh, I want to provide uh, free software, and I want to make um, our service free. Oh, no, as for the service free, my, explana my explanation that it's not that our service is free of charge. That, uh, that is, uh, I want to make our free product as easy uh, to use and uh, easy to set up, easy to operate without buying any services from us. And uh, we also provide a very hu uh, human UI and uh, easy management portal. So as a free software, it doesn't mean uh, we, uh, that, that the software is uh, free. That it means uh, the, the cost is really low and there are no barriers to using this product. So and the, another, one, another important um, side is that we want to deliver our product uh, directly to our uh, customers without a broker or without SI because um, this, if, if our product is um, delivered by this company, they, they, the product will, the, 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 the fees will be very high. So, and um, the uh, user experience and the, the user were not very happy with our product. So we don't want to uh, our product delivered to our broker. So, uh, so uh, we we were provided this uh, our uh, free oversight distribution uh, available in our uh, website. And, um, now we have already um, released our first version, but now it's in in, uh, in internal testing. And uh, we will release our product uh, in two months later, and then we, it will be freely downloaded. So in order to implement uh, this strategy, um, we design um, United OS. This is uh, a revolutionary, revolutionary OpenStack distribution for private cloud. You, uh, we just did a demo in the demo theater, and uh, so I think uh, some people have uh, seen the whole installation uh, process. Um, before, uh, before us, there are many other uh, OpenStack distributions like uh, Piston, Marantis, and Red Hat. And um, the big difference is, is the big difference is, is that um, is that is that is is a business is a is the difference of business model. 
uh, these companies, uh, Red Hat, Rackspace, they have uh, opposite distribution, but uh, their business model is uh, essentially the service. So he, they can't make it um, too much, uh, too easy, because if you can uh, do everything by yourself, uh, how do we uh, charge fees from our customers? So, but uh, we do not want to uh, my users to um, uh, buy our service. So, so we made it. it um, so I think this is a uh, uh, big difference. Is um, this is all you need to build such a private cloud? One you disk. Uh, this this may mention uh, this may remind you that Piston has also provided a, a UDS installation. But uh, um, as far as uh, as far as uh, I my my whole team uh, do not manage to set up for Piston uh, in our environment because here it's very strong requirement on the hardware and it even requires you have a very uh, specific uh, switches. So uh, we only one disk we we. Uh, do not have any requirement on your hardware. Uh, uh, I'm not willing to uh, uh, sh uh, give you hundreds of pages uh, of documentations to uh, guide you how to install it. We only have one slide. And uh, three steps, uh, 15 minutes. The first, uh, just uh, design a uh, uh, VNAN with a CIDR networking address and uh, insert your uh, USB disk to uh, the first node and then uh, after 15 minutes, you will have the first node ready. And then you will have a, a, a human web portal. And then in the web portal, you can uh, add um, the other physical server and um, just power on the other servers. The, the other servers will automatically uh, integrated to the previous server. And all the configuration has been done in the background without any interference. And uh, we can add in uh, more servers. So this is our uh, obviously, uh, this is our deployment documentation. It's really easy. Uh, okay, so much about uh, I I, I uh, it's, 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 yeah about the uh, uh, five minutes. Do you, have, do you guys have uh, any questions? You can ask in Chinese, and, uh, so I can answer in Chinese. <laughs> Oh, this is a very interesting company. I, I know the uh, question. He asked uh, whether I have already made money from OmStack. Actually, uh, the only um, uh, money we 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 made uh, is uh, in in last um, in October 20th. Uh, we hold a press release, and the, the, we 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 selling the ticket to uh, the users. And uh, as far as I know, uh, this is my first revenue. <laughs> to a certain uh, press release ticket. You know, in, in, in Chinese enterprise uh, history, uh, we are the only one enterprise company who are selling ticket for their product release press. So this is, um, this is my uh, uh, first revenue. Uh, so uh, this is a joke. So reality, we do not uh, actually make money from OpenStack. Uh, but we have some uh, internet, uh, internet, com internet companies. And, uh, we Part of them, even though this companies, uh, uh, this, uh, I listed, I listed uh, the internet companies, most of them has never, never bought open source services before. But uh, luckily, some of them have bought our open source service, and uh, we made uh, uh, little money from them. <laughs> Yeah, free uh, service free and free software. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm. Uh, I, I know you will ask this question. <laughs> so I will um, explaining the background of uh, our strategies. Uh, you know, uh, many friends may know that uh, my founder team, most of most of our members, uh, are come from the internet companies. Uh, you know, for internet, uh, internet companies, uh, um, we want to um, uh, make our product uh, as scannable as possible. So we, we, we do not want to 
uh, make money from case by case. And we, want, we want our product to be used uh, by many, uh, as many as users. So my uh, assumption is that if 1,000 uh, users have successfully uh, uh, deployed uh, of our product, the, I, I believe that uh, one percent, at least uh, one percent, we are pay uh, for the uh, premium services, and uh, this company is very, very big companies, and uh, this is one assumption. The second is um, we want to uh, keep our customers happy uh, and uh, give the uh, best reputations and give the um, large and um, give as large as um, uh, installation, installation base and make all of them happy. So we have very good reputation. So this is the second. So it, and the third, uh, um, uh, you know, why we do not want to make money uh, from Omstack in this early stage? That's because in our uh, opinion that. Uh, an infrastructure software usually needs a very uh, long time to improvement uh, and um, very huge uh, customer, customer base is and very um, solid testing uh, processes. So uh, we, we, we um, uh, made this product free in about one or two years. Uh, and uh, after, after my product has been uh, proved by many users, we can uh, release the, our uh, real enterprise version. So this is, uh, th th and then we will change our f uh, pure free model to a um, uh, free model, uh, free versions and enterprise version. So this is uh, a very typical model for open source business. So, um, okay, this is our explanation of our uh, strategy. We have enough time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, from my, uh, I just uh, I didn't uh, explain. Uh, the why uh, I just mentioned that I'm still uh, optimistic about the future of public cloud in China, uh, but I, I don't explain why. Uh, uh, I answer your question. Um, oh, be, um, so um, the the reason why uh, the previous development of public cloud development is not so good, in my opinion, is that the product and the the product is not mature. Uh, public cloud product is not mature. And the technology is not ready before. But in this stage, especially uh, using OpStack, uh, you can have a very mature product in a very uh, few uh, years, uh, maybe one or two years, um, 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 I guess, in, our, in one or two years, uh, the OpenStack product will be very uh, mature. And the second, the OpenStack will be very stable. So uh, OpenStack can solve the two main reasons uh, why a public cloud didn't run well before. So, uh, so, this is, so this is why I'm still very optimistic about OpenStack uh, public cloud in the future. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yes. Um, I didn't miss the. Uh, uh, I I have seen a lot of uh, universities and acad academies have uh, uh, brought OpenStack to their uh, no, uh, internal IT or to uh, make OpenStack as their research topic. And um, as for students, many uh, students and uh, research. Uh, learn the cloud computing technology through OpenStack. 
So as uh, since this uh, education academy is very active in, in China, I just uh, don't need to see it here. But um, the value here is. Any question? Okay. No. Thank you all.